Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can configure EC2 auto recovery. This is a feature Amazon has introduced to take some actions whenever there is a hardware failure or some system failure on the software side on your EC2 instance. The type of actions that you can take can vary from starting an instance or rebooting that instance or even terminating that instance. So you can pass on this message to a Lambda function also so that it can take up some EBS backup shots or detach the volume and attach the volume to another instance. Or you can also do an auto scaling event also. So the type of action that you take when an EC2 fails is completely dependent to you and you can have multiple variety of configurations that can be triggered from that point onwards. So for this demo, we are going to need a couple of items. One is an EC2 instance of the instance type that is mentioned there and then an CloudWatch alarm which will be monitoring our status. So let us go to our EC2 dashboard. Here you can see that I have a simple T2 micro instance that is uh, running uh, and there are no checks as of now that is configured. If I go to my status checks, there is nothing configured. We are going to configure a system status check uh, for hardware failure and we are going to simulate one and for monitoring also there are no alarms configured at this moment. So I'm going to copy this instance ID so that I can configure alarm for this instance. So let us go to my CloudWatch dashboard now. So in my CloudWatch I'm going to create an alarm and let me search it for the instance type that I'm interested in. And the type of alarm that I'm interested in right now is system status check failed which is at the bottom. So I'm going to select that and then click on next. So here I'm going to name it as hardware check and give the same description to my field. And then when I want my alarm, whenever there is a hardware failure, even once I want to be notified and how many data points I want to collect. Let us say I want to collect two data points and even if one of them is a failure, I want to be notified. So what is the recovery action? Where is it? So if you scroll down here, the, let me change the period of monitoring also to one minute so that every minute we will be monitoring our hardware failure. So in the bottom, you have this uh, actions section. So what you can do is you can do a simple SNS notification also here and my L1 support team will be notified whenever there is a hardware failure. In addition to that, you have three more options. One is an EC2 auto scaling option and another one is the auto recovery that is called as EC2 action here, click on that. And when you click on that, you have three options here, recover this instance, stop this or terminate or reboot. So in this case, I don't want it to be terminated. Let us say I want to be just stopped. So I'm going to click on stop now and it is doing the configuration in the backend and I'm going to click on create alarm now. So that is how you set up an EC2 auto recovery action now that there is not enough data points for my alarm to say that whether the status has been successful or failed. So it mentions as insufficient data and after two or three minutes automatically the alarm status will be in OK state and then we will go ahead and simulate an hardware failure by setting the alarm to a different state. So my alarm is in OK state. If I go ahead and select my alarm here and then if I go down here, you can see here as of now that is uh, all the data points are good and then if I go to a history it, it says that it has moved from insufficient data to OK and if you want more details you can go ahead and open it and look into it. So since my alarm is not triggered and it is not easy to simulate a hardware failure the only way that we can trigger this alarm is to automatically or artificially set this alarm to trigger using the AWS CLI command. So that is what we are going to do. I have another instance which is having admin privileges and using those CLI commands, I'm going to trigger a hardware failure now. The AWS CLI command looks something like this. AWS space CloudWatch and set the alarm state. Here I have given the alarm name for the one that we created and the value is going to be alarm. And I'm going to give a reason so that I know that it is a simulated failure and not a real event. So I'm going to copy this command and put it into the other window where I have set up an admin level privileges where from which I can simulate failures. So here we are on my Linux instance which has admin privileges. So let me go ahead and paste that command and press enter. And you see here that it has been taken into effect. Let us go to our CloudWatch dashboard and see what happens there. And we can also check it out in our EC2 dashboard. The instance should be in stopping state now. 
So I am in my EC2 dashboard. Let me go ahead and refresh my screen. And you see here the instance is already turning into stopping state and very soon it will be stopped state. That means that my EC2 auto recovery action has triggered. We can also go ahead and confirm that by going to our CloudWatch. And if I go ahead and refresh my screen and you can see that there are a couple of actions that has been taken here. One is a successful email has been sent to my L1 support team and also that um, my auto recovery action is also triggered. Let me refresh my screen again. So you see here the first event is a stop EC2 instance that is highlighted here and then my event has been successfully triggered and you can also state that the alarm state if you just scroll down here you will find that the state reason as simulate EC2 failure that we triggered from our artificial uh, simulation. So that is how you configure auto recovery in your EC2 instance. I could have done it by doing another instance but the easy thing to do was uh, stopping the instance and that is what demonstrated here. If you have any trouble in configuring auto recovery in your systems contact me I should be able to help you with that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.